So last time we talked about glucose, right? Which is a type of monosaccharides. As you can see, glucose kind of looks like this in the molecular level where it has a lot of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. The big idea is not really how they organize the carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen, but rather to teach you how to count the number of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a glucose molecule. So if we move down, we'll be able to see how do we end up having this simplified shape, right? We just eliminate carbon and we get this simplified shape or abbreviated shape. If you have five carbon, you have five pentose. So next, we will be focusing on the functions of monomers of carbohydrates. So you have already know the first monomers of carbohydrates, which is the more common one commonly known one, the glucose. But it is really not the only monomers of carbohydrates or monosaccharides. We have glucose, galactose, and fructose. So as you can see, they kind of hint you where you can get these monomers from. Galactose, you can get it from milk, and fructose is really the sugar from fruit. The general functions of monosaccharides can be divided into three major ones. The first one is really to support your cellular work, not the phone one, but respiration. It is your energy sources. It is the best molecules to produce energy in your body. The second one is that it can produce raw material to make other organic molecules. We know that monomers are really just made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. We also know that it can act as like a building blocks for other polymers. Glucose act as the building blocks for polymer like for polysaccharides. Next, it is produced by plants through a process called photosynthesis. So glucose or starch is really the food that plants made. So there are three functions, respiration, raw material, and it's produced through photosynthesis. Next, we're going to focus on the polysaccharides or the polymers of carbohydrates. If you have many monomers, they group together and through bonding, the covalent bond, right? They group together through bond. Now you have a polymers. The polymer of sugar is what we call polysaccharides many sugars bonded together. So polysaccharides has two major categories, the one under the plant and the one under the animal. The one under the plant, you can have two types. The first one is starch, the second one is cellulose. There are also two types under the animal category, the chitin and also glycogen. All four of them are the polysaccharides of sugar form. So for starch, the main purpose is for the energy storage of plants. Some of the examples are potatoes and also beans. They are really rich in your starch. The next one is cellulose. So cellulose is really the component of the cell wall of plant cell. So it is providing structural support. Next, we have chitin, which is the structural support for animal cells or animals in general. It can generally be found in the exoskeleton as well as the fungi's mem membrane. Last but not least is your glycogen. So glycogen is really the energy storage for human as well as other animals. We know that because it is really the converted version of glucose in your body.